What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and we're hearing that the arrival of the stimulus package through the process of reconciliation is going to be this month, July 2022. We can expect to see that. Now, in addition to that, we're hearing that Democrats are saying, progressives, that after that, whatever provisions have been stripped out of the Build Back Better bill, which we're hearing is a lot, is going to be coming afterward through the process of executive order and executive action by the president. And they have a list of them that they're saying could be on the way. And we're hearing a lot of talks about gas stimulus checks, child tax credits, and assortment of things that we're hearing could come right before these midterm elections. Now, I'm gonna get you caught up on the latest. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now, take a look at the headlines coming out, you guys. Democrats, they tried to build back, well, a bit better. <laughs> Trying to get this through, I'm gonna get you caught up on the details as we're hearing Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin, they are in talks, just the two of them, very closely tight-knit, so we don't have a whole lot of details, but they're taking portions, sending it to the parliamentarian to get approval to pass through the process of reconciliation. And as I mentioned, we're hearing this is coming this month. And there's not a whole lot of time to get this done before they go on recess. And then we have those elections. Now, take a look though. There's a lot of people saying, why even pass it? Democrats are trying to push through another Build Back Better bill. It would only make inflation worse. And they're saying, why pass through more spending uh, when it doesn't even have any direct assistance payments for people? They've been stripped out. And they're saying, if you're gonna add to debt and inflation, at least do so in a way that's going to at least benefit the American people. Now, we're hearing Democrats say otherwise, though. They're saying that there's going to be taxation included. That is going to be paying for this, and it's actually going to take away some of the debt and help out our economy. Well, you guys, we're going to dive into the details and get you caught up on the latest. But before we do, also wanted to mention, if you haven't seen the latest video on the second channel, you might want to take a look as we're hearing that right now, there could be a real estate crash in 2022 due to the inflation and now the interest rates that are cranking up to combat that. I cover all the data for you, the latest news coming out, so that way you can stay informed. So check that out. If you're interested, I'll pin a comment down below. You can click the link, go take a look and subscribe to see more videos, more content coming on that second channel, Steve Ram Finance. Now, in addition to that, I am currently working on a comprehensive list of all stimulus checks that are available. We're hearing that Many people have no idea that there are state, city, and county checks going out that you could receive right now. And they're missing out because in many cases, you have to apply to receive these checks that are only available for limited amounts of time. Well, I'm gonna make sure that you don't miss out on anything because if you miss it, the money just goes back to the federal government. I'm gonna make sure that you get everything that is available to you. So keep an eye out for that. I wanna release that this month as well. And you guys, let's dive right in. But before we do, do me a quick favor. Before we talk about the stimulus package arrival, smash the like button for me if you appreciate the updates. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out if you think it could help out other people. If you wanna stay up to date here on this channel with economic news, stimulus, Congress, everything going on, don't forget, take a quick second, smash the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. It's free. Why not? Come join the Ram fam. And any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into these articles and get you caught up on the latest. All right, so link in the description below to this article that just came out today. And this is from The Atlantic, and it says, Democrats try to build back, well, a bit better. An agreement on drug pricing, climate spending, and tax increases would make the president's legislative record look a little bit more robust. Uh, actually, they say a lot more robust. And we're hearing that he has got to do something if they want to win in these midterm elections. Because right now, the number one main concern of the American people is the state of the economy, and they're feeling like... He's not addressing it. As a matter of fact, we heard that there was 88% of the population polled that said they do not approve of the way that our country is going, that we're going in the wrong direction, and their main concern is the state of the economy. Now, this article says that President Joe Biden's economic agenda might be back from the dead. If the original proposal was build back better, well, this is more like build back a bit. Democrats this week took the first formal step toward reviving a stripped down version of the nearly $2 trillion plan that Senator Joe Manchin had killed last year. Now, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer asked the Senate Parliament 
volunteering to review a proposed agreement that aims to reduce the cost of prescription drugs by allowing Medicare to negotiate prices directly alongside Democratic priority that Manchin supports. Now, that is one major component of a deal that Schumer and Manchin have been discussing that would include hundreds of billions of dollars to combat climate change along with deficit slashing tax increases on the wealthy. Now, the deal could be ready for the votes on the Senate floor by the end of this month. And there you have it, you guys, additional confirmation that this is going to be arriving this month we're hearing. Now, I will keep you up to date, but they're saying progress is being made and that this is going to happen July 2022. Now, according to Democrats, which are familiar with the talks, who describe the development as major progress toward enacting a chunk of Biden's program before the midterm elections. And as I mentioned, they want to get this all done right before the elections so that way it's fresh in the minds of voters that they're getting assistance from Congress right before they hit those polls. Now, caveat abound, Schumer and Manchin have yet to complete either the tax or the climate portions of the bill, and the West Virginia centrist has abandoned negotiations negotiations before. So this is not a done deal, though. Now, with no Republican support, Democrats need the parliamentarian to determine whether their proposal can qualify for the process known as budget reconciliation or a majority vote in Congress in the Senate, which would circumvent an expected filibuster and allow a bill to pass with a simple majority vote. Now, a second Democratic aide who, like the first, spoke anonymously to describe the delicate discussions told us that a final deal would probably take several weeks and characterized the hopes for a vote before Congress's breaks in August recess as ambitious. So they're saying the goal is to get it done this month, but they're not so sure that it's going to happen. Yet the fact that Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senator Joe Manchin's talks, they have advanced even this far, counts as a welcome surprise for Democrats, especially considering how the original Build Back Better negotiations collapsed back in December. Now, Manchin walked away after accusing the White House of putting his family at risk as singling him out in a statement describing the status of the discussions. Now, in announcing the discussions on Fox News, he further complained that the Democrats' proposal was full of budget gimmicks and could worsen inflation because Manchin represented the crucial 50th vote in the evenly divided Senate. His departure ended Biden's hopes of delivering on a progressive agenda that initially included a federal paid leave program, universal pre-K, free community college, and an extension of the president's expanded child tax credit. All of those provisions with direct assistance, payments to people, they have been cut out of the bill. And we're going to be getting the details of what's included, but we're hearing it's been stripped down significantly. Now, the Negotiations remain dormant through the winter. There is no big, there is no Build Back Better bill. Manchin told reporters in February, it's dead. But he and Schumer quietly began talking again in the spring, keeping their negotiations secret, both to avoid the daily pestering on Capitol Hill's press corps and to prevent Democrats from getting their hopes up. Gone are the many of the items of Biden's original wish list, as it was originally three and a half trillion dollars in price tag. And we had heard the progressives wanted to see this at six trillion, seven trillion, ten trillion, with monthly reoccurring stimulus checks, child tax credits, wiping out student loan debt, social security income increases, you name it, they wanted it in there and it has been stripped out significantly. The total revenue that Schumer and Manchin now hope to generate through the tax increases and drug pricing reform is likely to be in the area of $1 trillion, with about $500 billion in new spending on climate and energy policies. Now, any deal that Schumer and Manchin strike will probably win applause from the bulk of the Democratic Party, including progressives. So they're saying just getting something done will be a victory in their eyes, but we will see if it will be in the eyes of voters. Now, a $1 trillion bill might seem paltry next to the dream of the $3.5 trillion, but it's a lot better than nothing that most Democrats have expected to get for the past six months. So there you have it, you guys. We're hearing progress is being made, and they are extremely happy to see something getting done. Now, let me know your thoughts on this. If they pass this through and we have this Build Back Better bill come through revised, is that going to convince you to vote in the favor of Democrats and keep things going? Are they going to have to then issue executive orders and actions for stimulus checks, child tax credits, and all these things to get you on board? Or is it just too little, too late? We've been waiting for over a year for President Joe Biden to fulfill these promises of these provisions, stimulus to help out people. Uh, and I know a lot of people are just done with it, you guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, we will see. I will keep you up to date. We're going to see if this actually comes to fruition this month, whether it does or does not. 
I'll be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel so that way you know what's going on. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. If you've made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget, take a quick second, smash that like button for me. Helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Leave your comments, share this out. If you want to stay up to date, it's free. Come join the Ram Fam. All you got to do is very quickly hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at SteveRam3. Take a look at that second channel with new content on the real estate market. I'll pin a comment down below and keep an eye out for that comprehensive list of all checks on all levels so that way you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me. I will catch you in the next one. Hope that you and the family have a blessed weekend. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.